guys. It's English for Professionals, lecture number six, English pronunciation. This is how to pronounce things in the English language. It's a really important skill. So in this lecture, you'll be able to identify basic sounds and formulas for pronunciation and categorize the words into groups that you already know and use them as a basis for pronouncing words that you don't know. So today we're going to start things a little bit differently. I'm going to read you guys a poem so I can show you how crazy English pronunciation is. Dearest creature in creation, study English pronunciation. I will teach you in my verse, sounds like corpse, core, horse, and worse. I will keep you Susie busy, make your head with heat grow dizzy. Tear and eye, your dress will tear, so shall I on, oh hear my prayer. Just compare heart, beard, and herd, dies, uh, dies and diet, lord and word. And your pronunciation's okay when you correctly say croquet. Rounded, wounded, grieve and sieve. Friend and fiend, alive and live. Ivy, pri uh, ivy, privy, famous, clamor. And enamor, rhyme with hammer. Strown with stones, stowed solace, gunwale. Islington and Isle of Wight. Housewife, verdict, and indict. Finally, which rhymes with enough. Though, through, plow, or dow, or cough. Hiccough has the sound of cup. My advice is to give up. See, English is insane, and I'm a very, very skilled English speaker, and I still struggled with this poem. So, it's very hard. However, there are definitive rules that you can use to help you get through this. The vowel sounds. In English, there are five vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. Each of these is a sound that you make without using your mouth. The only things that you move are your vocal cords and your lips, and they shape the air that comes out to form these vowels. The A. This is the sound you make when you open your jaw all the way down. Put your hand under your chin and extend it all the way down. Your hand should be pushed by your jaw, okay? A can make several sounds, but the main ones are eh, a, and ah, okay? So we can practice the A sound over here. The most common A sound is the one that sounds like cat. The ah sound, okay? So cat, hat, chat, and fat. Whenever you see words with an A like that in the middle by itself, the A will make the ah sound. Sail, when an A is combined with an I, it makes the A sound. Sail, tail, rail, and mail. Next we have call. That's a long A, the ah sound that we discussed. When A is surrounded with letters like two L's or a U, it makes the long A. Call, Paul, tall, and caught. And the last are sounds that make the A sound but don't actually have the letter A. Way, eight, vain, and rain. The E. E can make two different sounds. E can be E or E as in eh. Okay? So E and eh. Practicing the E sound. E can sound like E as in eel or feet or meat. And E can sound like eh as in ed or red or dead. The I sound. I is pretty simple. It only has two sounds, I and I. When I is alone by itself or it has the letters G-H-T after it, it makes the I sound. And when it has anything else after it, it makes the I sound. The only example um, that goes against this rule is the word pious, which sounds like pi-us. English is weird. Sometimes words just don't make any sense. This is one of them. Practicing the I sound. I as in fit, acidic, and finish. All the time, the I always makes the I sound. When I has G-H-T after it, it makes the I sound. So fight, mighty, pious. O is very complex and depends a lot on the letters that surround it. O can sound like a, uh, u. O and even ah. However, some O sounds are regular, um, and those four are the regular O sounds. Some O sounds are irregular. These ones have different rules that apply to them. For instance, 
The word one is pronounced like one with a W even though it's written with an O. Woman is pronounced with a short O, woman, but women is pronounced we men, women. The word sour is pronounced like power. Practicing the O sound. A, uh, U, O, and A. Uh. You have sun, none, love, dove. All of those have the uh sound in them. O can also make sounds like oo, such as poo, moose, loose. O can make the O sound itself. Go, flow, pro, mo. And O can make the ah uh sound. Bought, fought, sought. The U sound. The letter U also has four possible sounds. It can make oo, U, ah, uh, and oo. Ooh, as in flute, shoot, blue, or duty. You, as in mute, cute, menu, and human. Ah, as in up, sun, run, and number. Ooh, as in put, pull, cushion, and bull. There are seven rules that you have to learn for all of these to make sense. So after learning all seven rules, go back and watch the video from the beginning. It'll make a lot more sense, okay? When there's only one vowel in a word, and it is anywhere except at the end of a word, it usually has a short sound. Here you can see ant, sun, and pet, right? All of these are words that are very small. They have a vowel that is not at the end, it's in the middle or in the beginning, and it always has the short sound, ant, short a, eh, sun, short u, uh, pet, short e, eh. Rule number two, when there's only one vowel and it comes at the end of a word, it usually has a long sound. Here you can see go, that's a long o, right? O. So go has the O sound in it because O is at the end of the word. Rule number three. When there are two or more vowels and the word ends with a vowel E, two things happen. The ending vowel E is silent and the vowel that comes before it has a long sound. Here you can see the word lake. Lake has the long A, A sound, lake, and the E is silent. You can't hear it. Rule number four. When two vowel letters are together, the first vowel letter has a long sound, and the second vowel letter is silent. Tie. It has the long I, I, and the E is silent. Tie. Rule number five. When a word has a vowel followed by two of the same consonants, um, a short sound is used for the vowel. You can see this in words like swimmer, in which you use the short I instead of the long I, swimmer. You can use it in summer. You can use it in plumber. When a word has two of the same vowels in a row, pronounce them as if they were one vowel, using the long sound. This rule does not apply when O is the double vowel, and you'll see why in a second. When you have two words, such as this one right here, T. T is the little yellow thing under the ball. You use the long ver version of that letter. This is most common with the letter E. E has the most of this than any other word in the English language. So T, P, C, Seek, Leak, Reek. All of them are using the long E and they all have two E's, but it doesn't matter if it's E or A or I, um, it always has that same rule, except for O. Rule number seven, when O is a double vowel, it makes different sounds. You can see this in pool, which has a long O, oo. You can see this in door, which has the O sound. You can see this in book, which has the O sound. It just depends on the words that are around it. 